I design on third-party products, right? You know, I figure the importance is actually, I, you know, uh, something like a Swatch is a really well-designed object. It's very simple, it's very classic, but it's still kind of modern, right? And so I didn't really want to clutter up the Swatch with a, a bunch of stuff. So I just went for the most basic thing, like, so f uh, for the Swatch part of it, I'm like, okay, for me, what Swatch is all about is plastic. So I just did very, very basic white, clear, yellow colors just to make it look very plasticky. And then for the Kid Robot side of it, I just basically used the cleanest Kid Robot identity. That wasn't my, what my kid, that wasn't the rabbit, the dunny. So what I went for on the watch was to try to fuse the two basic elements of the two companies into one object. I like commercial projects. I like working for big companies. I like doing multiples. Um, you know, I also do fine art, but I'll do a big fine art piece. It'll just be bought by somebody and disappear. You'll never see it again. Stuff like this I like, and the toys, and when I did all the rock posters and stuff, because I like seeing, I like multiples. That's like the greedy part of me. Oh, there's lots of my stuff, right? And um, it comes back around. Like, you'll be somewhere totally random. <coughs> I could be anywhere, and I will see my stuff in a store somewhere. And so that's nice. And that's why I really like doing commercial design work. I have no big fascination with sitting around and being artistic and sketching and fucking all that shit. So the way I work is, uh, it makes me hyper efficient. It's like, I'm always thinking about what might be interesting just as a theme or something or colors or really basic things like that, right? My workflow, like if you come to my studio, it just looks like an office. It's not like artistic, it's not, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't have that, it, it, like that's like fucking boring. Like I like to, like I want just to see the finished product. Like if I could just like mentally project it without even actually having to draw, I would be so happy, right? I like to make stuff, lots of stuff all the time. That's my interest. Anybody that tells you that they don't want recognition or money or fame or anything for their work is a liar, okay? Everybody wants to get the reward of being special for, for showing off their ideas or their skills. And whether or not like you get street cred or a check, they're exactly the same thing. You are asking for a reward. So it's hypocritical to, di to say, well, getting rewarded this way is bad and this is good. It's all exactly the same. And I don't understand artists or designers that will accept commercial work and then make a big problem out of it. Why say yes in the first place? Just say no, go live in a hole somewhere and paint shit that no one's ever gonna see and be happy with yourself. You know what I, you know what I mean? Kid Robot approached me when they first came into the pro project. Uh, I've done a lot of projects with them in the past and, and continue to. So it was, uh, they just asked if I wanted to submit some stuff and it worked out, so. The idea of the design was to take a lot of my design elements, my illustration you know, pieces that I use over and over again within some of my illustrations and take bits and pieces of it and kind of create a pattern. Um, the mouth is something I've used for a few years in different, you know, graphics and toys and whatnot. And uh, just the overall idea was, you know, this whole shout out loud kind of thing. And, you know, just with the frustration going on, you know, whether it's the economy or government or, you know, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Because of my toy background, I, I often approach projects with, you know, how's it going to be made and, you know, how, the end product is exactly the way I want it. So when I'm designing, I'm thinking ahead with you know the process of like, okay, it's so many pad prints, whatever. It's a pretty similar process. The constraints on the platform, so to speak, was a little different because you know, obviously you've got you know watch bands and a face. You don't have you know the whole 3D you know figure to work on. So. That's kind of why I went with more of a, an all-over pattern was so that it would easily translate from the watch to the toy and they, they synced up well. Um, you know, the, the, the big mouth on the, on the dunny carried over like seamlessly to the, the face of the watch. So.